Flight testing of China's two new next-generation fighter designs is continuing space and offering new insights into both aircraft. The latest imagery of the larger of the two designs, commonly, but unofficially, called the J-36, offers the clearest look to date at the exhausts for its three engines and a new angle into its possible two-seat cockpit. Additional views of the second type, referred to as the J-50, show the interesting bay configuration on the side of the fuselage immediately behind the air intake and highlight other distinctive features like its swiveling wingtip control surfaces. The newest views of the J-36 in a video and associated still images are seen in the social media, which are said to have been shot in the city of Chengdu. The Chengdu Aircraft Corporation, which has its main plant there, is responsible for the aircraft. As noted, the new rear aspect view of the J-36 gives the clearest look we've seen at the engine exhausts for its trio of engines, which is already a highly unusual feature of the aircraft. We can now see pedals extending out over the top of the exhaust trenches that sit inward of the aircraft's tailing edge. This only underscores the J-36's exhaust configuration and its major similarities in form and function to that found on Northrop's YF-23. The YF-23 also notably featured an exotic intake design with boundary layer pores to help improve airflow, as you can see. This is a clear low observable play both for radar and infrared signature management. Recessing the engine exhaust before the aircraft's upper trailing edge is a classic low observable design element that Northrop largely pioneered with Tacit Blue, B2 Spirit, and YF-23. The ejected exhaust is spread out and has the potential to be actively cooled by this upper deck area. Above all else, this provides very limited line of sight to the engine exhausts themselves which helps significantly in minimizing infrared signature as well as radar cross-section from most aspects. The J-36 video also offers a new view into the aircraft's cockpit. Since the aircraft first emerged publicly, there has been speculation that it may have a two-seat cockpit with side-by-side -side seating. The imagery we have now is still inconclusive on this detail, but the possibility that two distinct heads-up displays may be visible has been raised by Andreas Ruprecht, a longtime Chinese military observer. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe right now and stay with me until the end. Additional pictures and videos of the J-50 from the Shenyang Aircraft Corporation have also been circulating online in the past week or so. As mentioned, most interestingly, a bay of some kind with a pronounced bulge at the front is now plainly visible on at least the right side of the fuselage behind the air intake. It is also positioned right in front of the main landing bay on that side of the aircraft. Whether or not the J-50's bay may be for weapons or intended to serve some other purpose is unknown. Questions have already been raised about whether there is enough internal space in this part of the aircraft to hold a relevant munition. It is worth noting here that China's J-20 stealth fighter has weapons bays in roughly the same location, which also have a novel configuration wherein the missiles inside pop out fully along with their launch rails before firing. We also have much clearer views of the J-50's unique swiveling wingtip control surfaces. These wingtips most likely help provide additional stability for the tailless aircraft. Though any new details about the J-36 and J-50 continue to draw particular attention, they represent just a portion of significant military aviation development efforts known to be ongoing in China, as well as additional work assumed to be going on outside of the public eye. If you like this video, please do subscribe and follow the channel to get your daily updates.